Twenty years ago, our parents used to gaze at the Milky Way, a mesmerizing sight filled with stars. The Milky Way we see today pales in comparison to their experience. Sadly, if this trend continues, our future children may never have the chance to witness the Milky Way in real life, only in old pictures. Join Cosmic Inquiries as we delve into the mystery surrounding the imminent disappearance of the Milky Way. A study published in the Journal of Science in 2011 reveals a concerning decline. Back then, you could spot 100 stars from your location, but now, that number has dwindled to just 34 stars. Imagine, at any given moment, only 34 stars are visible in the night sky. This issue extends beyond stars, it's about the larger picture of the Milky Way. The reality is, human existence has become so dominant that it poses a serious threat to other species and the future of our planet. Let's delve into why this is a pressing matter. Currently, only seven places in India offer a view of the Milky Way. The situation in the United States since 1994 is even more alarming. Due to excessive light pollution, the night sky has become so obscured that people mistook the Milky Way for a threatening meteor or asteroid. This incident, though amusing, highlights a deeper problem. Adults, around 30 years old, had never seen the Milky Way. Now, you might think, why does it matter if people miss out on seeing the Milky Way? Well, consider South Africa, where certain insects, like the dung beetle, depend on the clarity of the Milky Way for their behavior. In a 2013 study, scientists discovered that these beetles navigate in a straight line at night, seemingly defying their inability to focus on stars. When researchers manipulated starlight in a planetarium, they found that the beetles followed the Milky Way's arm, demonstrating a crucial link between their behavior and the galaxy. It's not just beetles, other creatures, including the indigo bunting and sea turtle, exhibit behavior dependent on the Milky Way. If these species vanish due to the disappearance of the Milky Way, it could disrupt the entire food chain, affecting ecosystems and eventually impacting humans. The culprit behind this phenomenon is a unique form of pollution, light pollution. In 2014, physicist Fabio Fulci, the president of the National Association for Protection of Night Environment in Italy, conducted a comprehensive study of the night sky. By comparing observations from over 35,000 ground telescopes, he created a scale for the quality of the night sky worldwide. Dark gray areas on the map represent the best quality of the night sky, where you can see the Milky Way, but as the color brightens, visibility decreases, leading to the disappearance of stars. This global issue needs urgent attention as we strive to protect the beauty of our night skies for generations to come. Let's take a closer look at the night sky in different parts of the world. Consider India, for instance. The capital city, Delhi, has a pretty poor quality night sky. Surprisingly, if we move about 800 kilometers southwest to the Rajasthan desert, the night sky's quality is at its best. This pattern is not exclusive to India, it holds true for developed and populated cities globally, such as Mumbai, Hyderabad, New York, Paris, and London. The common factor here is that areas with higher population and development tend to have worse night sky quality. This is primarily due to the extensive use of artificial lights in these regions. Now, you might wonder if turning off the lights, like some places in the United States, would help us see the Milky Way galaxy. Unfortunately, even if we did that, it wouldn't be enough. Let's go back to the map. Notice another trend? All these cities with poor night sky quality also have high levels of air pollution. The dust particles in the air scatter light, making the situation even worse. So, the combination of light and air pollution is gradually making the Milky Way and other stars disappear from our view. Now, suppose we manage to control both light and air pollution in the next 50 years. Will we finally be able to see the Milky Way again? Well, there's another factor at play here. A study by the American Academy of Ophthalmology in 2016 indicates that nearly half of the world's population could be affected by myopia or weakened vision distance by 2050. Increased screen time is a significant contributor to this trend. The human eye functions like a camera, with ciliary muscles helping in focusing. Prolonged screen use strains these muscles, causing blurred vision. Singapore serves as an example where myopia is highly prevalent, affecting 80% of the population. Interestingly, it's also a hotspot for light pollution. If the trend continues, Singapore might be the first country where people will lose sight of the Milky Way. This situation could extend globally by the end of the 21st century if eye defects and light pollution persist. Now, looking further into the future, billions of years from now, changes on Earth, like continuous volcanic eruptions and the expansion of the universe, will naturally render the Milky Way invisible to us. 
However, the concern today is that due to human activities, this gradual process is happening before our eyes. Take, for instance, the extreme weather events like the cold wave in Texas four years ago. Human-induced changes in climate patterns are affecting our planet, influencing the visibility of the Milky Way. So, it's not just a distant future concern, it's a current reality that demands our attention. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing.